water cycle in the bottle. In this lab, we construct a model to observe the water cycle. We use a two liter plastic water bottle and we cut off the bottom part. We add some sand into the bottle. The sand represents the lithosphere of the earth. Pour some water over the sand. The water represents the hydrologic system of the earth. Add some ice to the top part of the system to represent the temperature, the cooler temperature at the top of the troposphere where clouds and precipitation form. Now we turned on the heating lamp. It should point at the sand. The heat lamp represents the sun. So this model illustrates the flow of water as it moves between Earth's systems driven by the energy that is ultimately derived from the sun. The movement of the water can be grouped into three uh, directions. Liquid water evaporates and moves into the atmosphere. Or the water vapor moves throughout the atmosphere. Or the water, va water vapor in the atmosphere condenses and returns from the atmosphere to the surface of the Earth. In this model, we can observe evaporation and condensation as you see the water droplets at the top part of the bottle. If we had run the demo for a longer period of time, we would have seen precipitation as the water droplets have fa fallen off from the top part of the bottle. So the water droplets at the top part.